Why was the owner and crew of an oil tanker, the Cherry Valley, awarded $4.1 million for pulling a tugboat to safety off the east coast of Florida in 1994? One more time, why was the owner and crew of an oil tanker, the Cherry Valley, awarded $4.1 million for pulling a tugboat to safety off the east coast of Florida in 1994? To safety meaning back into land or out to sea again, perhaps. Perhaps it's a mis Ooh. misdirect. It was full of sea lions. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know why they would have to get an award for that. I'm not sure where the sea lions came from or why they have that much money, but <laughs> we'll keep going this way. <laughs> Big sea lion was I lobbying. I feel like we're ganging up on Ella this episode and I would be less I know, guilty I about it if I wasn't like... 70% sure that she's the one that came up with the all wear and red t shirts. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was Tom Lum. Of course it was Tom Lum. In hindsight, of course it was Tom Lum. <laughs> the amount of messages that we got in our Discord server about this from Tom Lum was uh, infuriating. <laughs> um, anyway. So please be nice to me. Thank you. <laughs> I tried to stop him. <laughs> um, it was a famous tugboat. It was the little tugboat that could. And that's why. My thought is thinking like oil rig and thinking like, yeah. did a big oil company like pay them a whole bunch of money to be like, leave us alone so we can like keep drilling or something like that, you know? Like... It was that, a I single that's, tugboat that's... full of oil. <laughs> it's actually not strictly relevant that the, the hero here was an oil tanker. They, okay, the okay. Uh, okay. The, the owner and crew just got awarded this amount of money for keeping that tugboat safe. Did it have somebody famous or important huh. on it? Yeah. Was Queen Stamps? Victoria in it? No, they were awarded <laughs> it. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's... Was it a missing tugboat and therefore there was an award for finding it? Ooh. A child had driven the tugboat into the Atlantic. Was it a world record for most tugboats saved by an oil company? Oh, uh, I like that. Uh, <laughs> there is a different sense of awarded that you haven't quite got yet. Did they catch like a criminal? Pirates. Pirates. <laughs> <laughs> you can also get awarded money by a court. Ooh. Oh. oh. Okay. They were repo. They were repoing the tugboat from land, from water. Oh, no. I don't know. Oh, guys, come on. Did the tugboat, like, damage the oil tanker in some way or it was in the way? And because it was pulling the tugboat out, it then went off course, it ran out of time, and it tried to claim that back through courts or something? Were they, like, purposely trying to get stuck and they were like, no, you weren't supposed to save us or something, maybe? Uh Ella, you said repo, and there is a fairly Ooh. technical term for doing repo out at sea. I don't know the term for, do you know? I'm going to give you this bit, because I suspect your knowledge of international maritime salvage law is not <laughs> great. How dare How you? How you know? Yeah, what? Actually, that's very <laughs> offensive. <laughs> <laughs> salvage is the key word here. Oh, it okay. was It was part of, it was a tugboat that was part of the Titanic. You know, it was... <laughs> a, an old or famous tugboat, yeah. Mm, tugboat yeah. wasn't worth that much. Was something that the tugboat itself was carrying worth something? Yes. Ah. And oh. this is the east coast of Florida, 1994. Oh, we're supposed to... None of us were alive, mate. The tugboat wasn't <laughs> carrying, it was tugging. Of course, because it's oh. a tugboat. A tugboat. Damn idiots. Um... <laughs> Seaweed. I mean, I don't mean to cast aspersions about Florida during that time. Is it like something that would be in a Netflix documentary about like uh, criminals, maybe? <laughs> um, up until we got to the word criminals, yeah, there's going to be lots of documentaries about this. East coast of Florida oh. in the 90s. Yeah, absolutely. East coast of Florida now, of frankly. All. East coast of Florida since about... 60, 70 years ago? Well, all I know is about s s sargasso, the, the seaweed that's been around yeah. for about that long and getting worse. I Is it some kind of, it must be some kind of animal. It's not an animal. Oh, 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 oh,
Is it is it like a part of a of a ship of a rocket that they were retrieving or something? <gasps> yes. The oh. tugboat was pulling a barge called the Poseidon to NASA in Cape Canaveral, Florida, and there was a tropical storm. They got into trouble. It was carrying a, a space shuttle fuel tank. Oh, wow. Uh, I would huh. like to publicly apologize for to Florida for thinking <laughs> it was, I don't know, like narcos related. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I had it was no the, idea. It was, it was, it was a, a space thing. Oh, amazing. Yeah. And maritime law says that if you salvage something, and there were arguments about what counts as salvage and how much that is, but, in, uh -huh. but under maritime mm. law, if you put yourself at risk as part of a rescue to salvage something, you get a share mm. of what that is worth. And the answer to that oh. was 12.5% of $33 million for a fuel tank, for an oil tanker that was in the right place at the right time to save the right tug. That is documentary worthy. That's right? neat. Yeah. That's wild. 